Bernard A.C. Whitman, their Whitman or Helm, a Hell's Lager. This beer comes in at a 5.1% ABV, a unavailable IBU, it gets an average rating on Untapped of 3.28, pours with a golden yellow color, and has a fine poured stable head. The aroma is malty but otherwise quite neutral. In the first sip, you can taste light malt notes. The finish is rather spicy. The carbonation is perfectly done and gives the beer an incomparable drinkability. All right, it's day 23. Let's have a beer. I might have shaken that up a little bit. Um, that slide, it, it fell before, so I had to cut. But it does have a very nice white looking head. So the color is very straw looking, yellow, a very dull. I don't know if you can see that. It's a Hell's Lager. What do you what do you expect it to look like, right? You know, it's not gonna look like no IPA. Honey, I get I get honey aroma, a sweet, nothing super offensive. Um, not that really bad, you know, lager-esque health. No, everything smells pleasant, actually. Well, not quite exactly what I was expecting. Actually, uh, aroma is sweeter than the actual body itself. There's almost like a citrusy note at the very front end. And there's just a quick, and I mean it's quick maltiness, and it's not even that sweet. It's just, it's just basically saying, hey, there was malt in this beer at one time or another, and it's that's about it. That's how fast it goes. And then it dies down to nothingness, but the nothingness is still very pleasant. It has a nice body to it. The finish isn't actually at all offensive. There's nothing bad about this beer so far. In fact, the initial taste is just different enough, and then the rest of it is like, hey, we're still good. And it kind of just piques your interest. If it wasn't for that first initial taste, I would say this is just a mediocre hell's lager um, that tastes like nothing, you know, a little sweetness. But that weirdness, that citrusy, grassy, I want to say it's a hobby. I don't know. It's just, it's just interesting. It, it, it grabs you and just says, hey, boom, there's a little twist on this. And it brings you back down to, now we're back to our regularly scheduled program. So the description does state that there is a light malt taste at the very beginning. And you know what? I would have to add almost a lemon quality. It even lingers afterwards in my mouth. Um, everything else on the description actually is quite accurate. It says otherwise quite neutral and then just perfectly carbonated. I have to agree with all of those points. My only downside of this beer would be that this tastes like a summer beer, not a winter Christmas beer. It's easily chuggable, easily drinkable, easily, as we like to say here in America, crushable. I'm glad day 23 has turned out as well as it has. And I hope day 24 is just as good, if not better. Cheers, guys. Hey guys, if you like this video, hit like and subscribe. Scroll down to the very bottom of the description to check out all my other social media stuff where I post lots of other content. And while you're down there, leave a comment or two of what you liked about this beer review or if you didn't like it and wanted me to talk more about something else or do something interesting with this beer. If you have this beer, let me know in the comments and what you thought of it. I'm going to see you guys tomorrow for the last day. Cheers.